I, I got nothing for this intro. What's up guys, it's Ed back again from Techsaurus and welcome to Setup Wars episode 31 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you are new to the show and want to submit your setup, make sure to watch the video linked down below. But with all that said and done, let the Setup Wars begin. Never pay full price for games ever again guys, G2A offers the cheapest CD keys you can find anywhere. Check them out by clicking on the link below. As always, everyone's gear from their setups will be linked down below, but here are your 5 lucky contestants. Julian, Mark, Rafe, Roberto, Sandhu. Congrats for making it to Setup Wars episode 31. First up is Julian with a WOW setup. Now this is the type of quality I expect from my submissions, you guys. It doesn't matter if your setup is just a laptop on your bed. If you send me high quality pictures like this, you will get featured. I think I rejected over 50% of the submissions I received, mainly because of poor quality. I get super dark images, very blurry, very grainy uh, pictures, but... Enough about that. We have a custom built desk and a monitor stand which holds up two ASUS 21 inch monitors. On the desk we have an Anchor Wireless keyboard, Corsair mouse and a pair of cyber acoustic speakers. But that view though, probably the coolest part of this setup no doubt. But check this out guys, he has blinds that doubles as a projector screen which he has an Xbox hooked up to. We also have a bunch of wall shelves with some lens, trophies which I'm really curious as how you even reach the top shelves. Kale management is great, I don't see any on the ground and down here we have the PC and a pair of M50s. Near the bed we have a shelf full of antique cameras and a bunch of photos up top which is safe to assume were taken by you. It definitely seems like you have a passion for photography, so I wish you the best in your life and your career, but thank you James for entering. Next up is Mark with a 34 inch ultra wide monitor by LG, hooked up to an arm off to the side. On the desk we have the Blackbird mechanical keyboard and we have a Logitech G602 mouse off to the side. To the left we have the console gaming setup, a Vizio 4K TV and a PS4 underneath. We also have some headphones hanging under the wall shelf, a Sony wireless headset and a Corsair Vengeance 1500 hanging from the Audio-Technica headphone hanger. Cable management is really good, but Jesus, do you really need that many power strips? I count 1, 2, 3, 4... And I think there's another one in black. Why don't you just get two large power outlets and then put one on each side? I think that will really minimize the amount of plugs you use for your wall outlet. I do have to give you props for having the monitor arm off to the side. It really gives the monitor a levitating effect and honestly looks way cleaner that way. I may have to do the same for my setup. Powering this setup is a 4770K and an ASUS 780Ti, which Mark is planning to upgrade to a 980Ti or dual 970s. Go with the 980 Ti if you have the money, but overall an awesome setup, thank you Mark for entering. At number 3 we have Rafe or Rafe with some eye candy. 3 Acer 23 inch monitors, a Microsoft 800 keyboard and a Logitech Performance MX mouse, which means this is a productivity setup. We also have a pair of Sony speakers on the table and a custom built PC rocking an i5 4460 and a GTX 970. Great work with cable management, I like how you use the velcro straps to combine the cables together. I would strongly advise against using zip ties because if you ever need to swap out or remove devices, then it's going to be really annoying. But yeah, not much else to say really, pretty straightforward setup. I would maybe recommend some hangers for your headsets, but other than that, a very clean and sexy setup. Thank you Rafe or Rafi, Rafe for entering. Next up is Roberto with a quad display, three ASUS 27 inch monitors and a massive Samsung TV up top which is hooked up to the Xbox One. On the desk we have a Logitech G19S keyboard, Madcat's Rat9 mouse on top of the extra large enhanced gaming mouse pad. We also have a pair of Logitech Z5500 speakers and an Astro A50 headset hanging from somewhere. I have no idea where though. Cable management is spot on, we have the popular IKEA Signum rack which is holding up the cables and we have a power strip attached to the roof of the desk. I also like the cable shields you put on the wires from the TV and monitors, that definitely cleans up the overall desk setup. The TV isn't exactly centered with the three monitors which really messes with my OCD, but overall I'd say you have a killer setup 
Thank you, Roberto, for entering. Last but not least, we have Sandhu with a triple display setup, three Asus 24-inch monitors side by side with an Apple keyboard and mouse as peripherals. On the left side, we have a Sony laptop, a pair of Beats solo headphones, and a sweet looking black and white build in between. A 4790K clock to 4.7 and a GTX 980 Hall of Fame edition. Cable management can definitely be improved by using cable sleeves and velcro straps which I will leave down below. Also the LED strips would look a lot better in the back of the table instead of the front. The point of having LEDs is to get that glow effect behind an object and not have them visible in the front. I also think that three monitors side by side in a straight line like that is not productive at all. I'm almost positive that you are not able to see the edges on both of the outer monitors without having to lean forward. So either bring those monitors closer or go with a dual monitor setup because I feel like you aren't really utilizing all of those pixels. But yeah, other than that, it's a great setup, Sandhu. Thank you for entering. So that's it for this week's episode of Setup Wars. Make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on the best desk setup. And as always, I'll announce the winner on Sunday on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. So make sure you guys are following me there. If you guys enjoy the show, make sure to show your support. And I will see you in the next video.